my name's David McDowell. I'm a bee farmer and I keep bees in Leicestershire. We run about 80 to 90 hives and they're spread around the countryside. Currently we're studying what I call my winter apiary and this is uh, where the bees are kept in the winter and we are based just north of Ashby de la Zouche. The bees live in a hive and it doesn't really matter what the vessel is but it is a hive. Those hives are essentially surrogate trees and they come in a modular form so we're able to extend them and reduce them in the way that the bees need them. So here we have a completed national hive, there's bees living in that one but this is how it's made up. The first part is the floor, this has got a mesh floor. The next bit is the brood box, now this is where the bees make their home and raise their young and you'll see that it's quite deep. Inside the hive are frames and this is where the bees are going to make their home. In the winter there'll be 15,000 bees living in there and the summer that'll be up to 60,000 bees. The next part is the super. You can see that's much shallower and this is where the bees are going to put the honey. The bees always put the brood nest at the bottom and the honey above it. So as the bees bring in the honey we can stack more and more supers up on top of this as required. This is called a crown board. It sits on top of the hive. The last part's the roof and the roof is just to keep the wind out and the rain. So the environment we're immediately in, it's nice rolling countryside and it's bounded by hedgerows and those hedgerows break the wind in the winter but also in the summer they're a really important source of food. The bees forage that area and what they're looking for is the things that are going to sustain them so there's going to be pollen and it's going to be nectar. Nectar is produced by flowers the flowers use it as a bribe to bring the bees into that flower so that the bees will get covered in pollen and when they move to the next plant they'll put that pollen on the next plant and therefore create pollination. They bring the nectar back to the hive and they start to turn it into honey. So what you can see is these little honeycombs and imagine each one of those is a, a pot of honey and when the honey's been made they then cap it off. This is a honeybee, Apis mellifera, and she's an insect. So you can tell she's an insect, so she's got two antennae, a head, a thorax onto which the legs and wings are attached. So you always see beekeepers wearing veils. And the reason is that over the millennia, the things that have eaten bees are mammals generally. And because we're mammals and we give off CO2 out of our nose and mouth, the bees have learned that that's the sensitive part. And if they bother that part of the animal, the animal's going to go away. So we wear a veil so that we can keep the bees away from our faces. So we've come inside to the tank room, this is where all the production takes place. We've collected the supers off the hive, they're the narrow boxes, and they have the frames of honey inside. And now we've got to separate the honey from the wax. The bees have put this nice beeswax on top to cap the honey off. And what we need to do is remove it. So we've got an electrically powered hot knife. And now what we do is just run the knife up the wax and the gentle heat removes the capping. So as we cut the wax off, we're revealing the honey underneath. But this wax doesn't go to waste because this wax can be reconstituted and turned into things like candles. We've taken the frames that we've uncapped and so now the honey is ready to come out of these frames. So we put them into this extractor. And essentially it's a centrifuge and it holds 24 frames. And in a moment we'll switch this on and as it spins, the weight of the centrifuge will actually pull the honey out of the frame. It'll hit the side of the tank, it'll dribble down the inside, come out of the spigot, through the filter and collect it in the bucket. The purpose of the filter is to catch the little pieces of wax that are broken off during the extraction process. And we filter it twice, first with a rough filter at this stage and then a finer filter when we put it into the honey tank. In a good year, a single beehive will produce enough honey to fill this tank and it holds 100 kilograms. So jars have all been washed and cleaned. This is a 227 gram jar, that's eight ounces. Open the valve and fill the jar up to the shoulder. And then we check weigh on the scales that it's either correct or overweight, and then we move on to putting a lid on top of it. So you've seen the process from end to end, starting in the field with the hives right the way through to putting into a, a jar for you to eat. You can buy the honey at lots of local outlets around the Leicestershire and South Derbyshire area. It's produced locally, it's consumed locally, which means there's very little 
traveling about from one place to another so we're not using resources up. We do lots of recycling so the jars themselves are glass, the lids are recyclable and even the wax that we use once that's been processed we actually render it down and make things like candles.